We have spent the past year renovating this beautiful abandoned farm in northern Portugal into our dream family homestead. Being a travel family at heart, putting down roots here has felt incredibly special and unbelievably challenging in equal measure. In this episode, we welcome some new friends and fellow YouTube family to stay, diving into a project that'll give us all a chance to get to know each other better. We're hoping that time with friends will help shift a recent weight from our shoulders as we share what it's like to navigate this new chapter of parenthood, homesteading and our growing YouTube channels. Well, here they come. That is a very exciting car coming down the driveway. So Alex and Emma and baby Noah have arrived and we've just had lunch. They're off wandering around the farm at the moment, having a look around. So exciting to have them here. Every time we get to hang out with fellow YouTubers, it just fills the cup right back up. And to be with another family with a little babe is just really, really cool. So we're looking forward to getting to know them better the next couple of days and to hanging out. Yeah, absolutely. So what do you do with world famous, huge YouTubers like Emma and Alex? Well, you've got to have a project. That's a bit of a showstopper. Absolutely. So we're going to be doing something down on the lawn. Um, it's going to be a brand new project, all brand new. We're going to do it all well there here, hopefully finish it um, and be able to sit down at the end of the project and enjoy the fruits of the labour. Mm, I am very excited. Me too. Hey, all right. We should go and see them. Yeah, let's Be get safe. on with it. <laughs> yeah, good weather. They and can't to blame you for bringing it with you. <laughs> you promised us good weather. <laughs> Never mind. So what are you guys uh, doing in Portugal? Well, it's actually a very exciting trip because we're looking at doing something similar to you guys okay. and seeing whether or not, or exploring whether or not we would want to set up camp here in Portugal and actually own a property of our own. Yeah, basically to wow. maybe make a home for our, our family. Look at that. So this is Noah. Hello, He's Noah. He's very excited to meet Sawyer and Crusoe and have yeah. to play. He's frothing at the mouth. <laughs> How excited so he is to play. <laughs> yes. That'll milk. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for having us. We're so oh. excited to be here and pick your brains. No, thank you guys for coming. We are so excited to have you and to finally meet you because we've wanted to hang out for ages. Yeah, yes, so yes, a long yes, time yeah, coming. Cool. It yeah, has, it absolutely has. So yeah, if Alex, Emma and Noah are new to you, make sure you go and check out the Travel Beans. They're going to be heading around Portugal for the next couple of weeks looking at a few properties and who knows where the adventure is going to take them. I know, who it's knows? exciting. <laughs> so exciting. And I can guarantee that you'll have an epic laugh with these guys. We love oh. tuning into their oh, videos. Because, nice. because, Fun. Yeah, there's always something ridiculous going on and there's always a good laugh to be yeah, had. No thanks to him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I am a ridiculous man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, everybody. That's true. <laughs> Right, we've got a project for you guys. Yeah. Keen to get stuck in? Definitely. Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Hopefully the rain holds off. The and doesn't get put to work. <laughs> yeah. Free labour. <laughs> oh, this place is such a mess down here, but we're going to need this. We're not going to need that. Saw. Gonna need a big saw. Big saw, like that. I'll take these down to the lawn and go and see if I can find Alex and Noah. Down that way. Right, so we're gonna go. I think I can hear Crusoe. Okay, it looks like the girls are ready then. Okay, Alex, um, the girls are getting all set up over there with Noah and Crusoe. So I'm getting roped into manual labour, is yeah, that? Yeah. Is that my vacation? Yeah, it is your vacation. <laughs> Thank you very much. Welcome. <laughs> um, I was thinking we'd just build the biggest cinema screen possible. I mean, that sounds like a dream. Does okay, it? yeah, I'm up for it. Okay, all right. Um, how much experience have you got with tools and stuff like that? I have absolutely zero, and if any of my audience are watching, they will also probably pummel in right now about how little experience I have because Emma is the person that converted our camper van. Is it? And, uh, and I got a lot of flack for that. So this is my chance to shine. Okay, Emma, surely you should be using the, the drill and the saw. I know, I feel like um, I'll be taking the attention away from Alex again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to prove himself. <laughs> uh, 
Alex's chance to prove himself. Finally. All right, okay, <laughs> all right. Um, so I've got the tools, let's just go down there and start building something. Perfect. Great. Alex, what are you doing in Portugal? Except for visiting the newbies, of course. Of course. Well, I'm looking at buying my own land, if Is possible. It? Try and learn from you guys and see if it's uh, something we want to do. Okay. And what, what, what's, what, why Portugal? Because people are asking us all the time, why you want to come and live in Portugal? Why don't you go? Because actually, when we came to Portugal, um, we, we genuinely thought if we ever buy a property abroad, it's probably going to be in Greece. Okay, yeah, for us it's, it's Italy. This trip is also a trip to fall in love with Portugal. I okay. get the vibe and the feel. Yeah. Uh, it is one of the safest countries in the world. True. The most sun of anywhere in Europe, I believe. 300 sunny days a year. Yeah. Um, maybe not so much now. Yeah. Yeah, I think those things, um, nature, food, wine. Beautiful, yeah. yeah. Wine. Do you know the Portuguese actually um, are um, huge wine producers? But they but export they very. Yeah, they, they that's they what happens. All of the good wine never gets exported. So yeah, hence probably why yeah, I've never heard of Portuguese wine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Great. Um, okay, so um, basically, guys, what we're going to do today is build a huge cinema screen on our lawn, and then later we're going to watch each other's videos yeah <laughs> i see not just each other's videos but we're thinking we might watch each other's very first video that we put on youtube i can already feel the cringe <laughs> i can't wait Emma. yeah <laughs> all right okay so that's the plan right beer for the builders and water for the babysitters I'm really excited about this project because although it's in honour of Emma and Alex's visit, it's also something that we're going to use a lot in life because the theme at the moment, sorry, trying to shut the door with my foot because if I don't shut the door, the chickens go in the house. Um, the whole theme at the moment is just making us spend more time on the lawn. So I think we've been down there every single day with the blanket and hanging out while John works and it's just such a beautiful part of the farm to be. So to be adding to the kind of repertoire of things we've got to do down there is really cool. And although this is a bit bonkers, well, it's just gonna be fun. Anyway, the boys are gonna be getting very thirsty, so I should probably stop wittering on and get on my way. You lot, the door is closed. You are not allowed in the house. I just don't feel like they're paying any attention. Oh, yes. <laughs> Here we go. Don't rush at Alcohol, me. Alcohol, <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's some good responsible YouTubing. Have you shown them your, your trick? I think it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Second coolest thing, obviously. Third coolest thing now. Yeah, yeah, of course. Cheers. That's a reason to get married there, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, dear. Right, get building, you lot. Okay. Well, Alex sets up his shot for his video on, on the Travel Beans channel. Um... I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the plan. So it's going to be a really simple project and I don't think it's going to take much more than an hour or so. Ideally, what we want is to build a square frame and then put some kind of supports behind it. And then after that, stick a sheet over the top of it. That's a cinema screen. And then we're going to bring down the sofa 
outside sofa down here and we're going to set it all up and we're going to sit down and we're going to eat popcorn and watch videos. Sounds perfect. Great. Okay, so yeah. let's get some wood. Good. Okay, Alex, so if we chop this piece of wood approximately in half, nothing's going to be exact today. Yep. Um, but when you lower down the saw, do it really slowly because um, Tara built a table the other day. Yeah. I say the other day. Tara built a table and basically wrecked my saw blade. It went through a whole oh, bunch no. of na um, nails. I know. I I trust you more than me. <laughs> Of course, you have experience. I think Emma, you should come and have a go. You should be doing it. This is what she always does. She takes <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Sweet. So, um, <laughs> so close. Yeah. So if um, if Tara hadn't wrecked the saw, that would have been a two-second job. Okay. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> Okay, Alex. Now what? <laughs> nice. Um, have you got a favourite episode that you ever made? I've made. It's funny because I think everything I cringe at everything I've made in the past. Really? So it's like when I, yeah, when I think of it, because ideally I'm always developing and getting better. Yeah. Um. So. I think the the most proud video I've ever made is actually we did a canal boat trip with Noah after he was four weeks old. Not because it's the best video I've ever made, but yeah. just to yeah. learn how to drive a boat, film a video and look after a four week old and make something like interesting for video was yeah. the hardest thing I've ever done. And still be you. Yeah, and still be me and yeah. enjoy it as yeah. well, not go crazy. And, and did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> really amazing. It was our first basically venture outside the house. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Genuinely better than me. You're on it, are you, Crusoe? Yeah. Come on then. <laughs> Do we need all of that? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, stand up. Um, yeah. All right. So I think we could do it with a screw with the screws, or we could do it with a nail gun. If we did it with a nail gun. It'd be super simple. Okay. What do you think? I can go and get the nail gun, yeah. and then we just. Pop yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let me go and get the nail gun. Yeah. Um. Going to get the nail gun. It's better. While everybody's beavering away on the lawn, getting ready for this evening, I wanted to tell you guys about this very cool piece of kit, which is making all of that possible. This is the Nebula Mars 3, the world's first extreme outdoor projector. What does an extreme outdoor projector do? So not only is it extremely portable, it's also waterproof, dustproof and knockproof. That's very good if you've got a Crusoe and Sawyer around. Isn't it just? Mm. It also has some very, very nifty features. This is an automatic lens cover, which opens the lens and switches the projector on as you open it. It also has camping lights at the back and charging ports. It has five hours of battery life. That's at least two movies. Or two early videos from two YouTube channels, but more about that a little bit later. In terms of quality, it is pretty unrivaled with AI image adjustment, which means it can cope with just about any and all changing outdoor lighting situations but we can also use it inside. It has a 240 degree, 40 watt surround sound speaker. It is the most incredible immersive cinema experience and we love it. This Nebula Mars 3 has literally just hit the market. And if you want to get your hands on one, we have a special early bird offer for you in the description below. Please use our unique link and go and grab one for yourselves. We've been absolutely loving having this as part of our life and we're really excited with the new kitchen build project to make a permanent home for it down on the lawn. But make sure that you stick around to the end of the video to watch us having a beautiful cinema night with the travel beans, hopefully later if the weather allows. Thanks so much to Anchor for sponsoring this video.
to be big enough? Should we make it bigger, bigger? It's about the same size as the goldfish, yeah. You know. Yeah. Look at Emma. Oh, sorry, Emma's like seems to have taken on the reins of like <laughs> crash. I now have three children. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. Welcome to your future. <laughs> wonderful future too. Um, but I think it's it's just about big enough. So we need to go and get that sheet put okay. it in place, and then get the sofa, stick that there, open the popcorn. Put on some telly. Mm. I love it. Yeah, Alex has just been talking about how cringeworthy his first video is, so I can't wait. Oh, I can't I wait. Like, yeah, you, we'll see. We'll see. We've got some weird shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is it appropriate for the children, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> too young to understand. Okay? <laughs> fine. Please beat that. <laughs> what I love about that sheet it's not actually a sheet, it's a gazebo. But I actually found it in the knot garage. Like when we first got here, it was up on a shelf and it was moldy and I thought there's no chance that's ever going to be usable. And we hauled it out the other day because I wanted to use it as a shade to stop the kitchen floor from warping. But now it's going to make the most perfect cinema screen. Multiple uses. Isn't it great? <laughs> we have an enormous cinema screen on our lawn. <laughs> this is bonkers. <laughs> Let's go and get that sheet down. And bring it here. I've got a staple gun as well. I think probably the easiest way to get that sheet on the frame is a staple gun. And hopefully, actually, because that's a bit flimsy at the moment, hopefully by putting the sheet on it will sort of firm things up a little bit as well. Can't wait. This is going to be fun. So this is the sheet that Tara's talking about. Courtyard sheet. So just untie the knot and crack on. It's not a girl guide knot. Tara put these up. Wow, that's going to be tricky to undo. Okay, got it. You know, recently we've been talking a little bit about burnout, you know, about being a bit tired and fed up with YouTube and fed up with, well, I'm not fed up with YouTube. Everybody gets fed up with their job, right, every now and then. Um, so one of the ways that we're trying to get back on track or one of the ways that we're trying to find um, peace, a little bit of like Zen in amongst the chaos of having a couple of kids and um, stuff like that is by inviting other YouTubers over um, because they, you know, it's like talking to your colleague who you sit next to at work or who you used to sit next to at work. You know, they're going to get exactly what you talk about. But the, the weird thing about YouTube is you don't get to sit next to a colleague at work. You don't get to pick up the phone and say, hey, James, you know, I'm having a crappy day at work today. Um, you know, how are you finding it? And James would say, yeah, you know, it's been hard for me too. Don't worry about it. It gets better. Um, so inviting other YouTubers um, like Alex and Emma um, and like um, some other people that we're going to be meeting soon, um, talking to them about how it is to be working for YouTube and, and working in this kind of very strange world um, is really cathartic and really helpful. And I think it's going to be part of our process of just getting that, that joy back in. You know, I just just filmed myself running up from the lawn to pick up this um, this sheet here. And I can already feel the excitement, you know, that, that old school newbies excitement just oozing back into my veins, you know, getting excited about a project, getting excited about something, even if it's just a silly little thing, you know. Same like when we went to visit um, Brady and Heather, we made that ice bath. You know, it's fun. These things are fun and we should do more of them in our lives. Anyway, let's get this, um, let's get this uh, crazy knot untied and head back down to the lawn. I think because everybody's super hot, 
I'm going to turn the hose pipe on and have a little bit of a wash down too. Okay, my darling, I think I've got everything. So just a moment ago, we had some advice from Emma on the sidelines. Yeah. Telling us that we should put it all down and not climb into wheelbarrows to get to the top. And it all fell to pieces. So I bought a stool instead. Nice. Um, and I've got a staple gun. Good job. So that piece of white gazebo lived in our knock garage for 20 years it before it's now found a life as a cinema screen. <laughs> <laughs> I love this scene, it makes me really happy. No! Did you not measure it? And you didn't measure it before, did you? Bullshit to measure. It was meant to be, I love it. That is fantastic. Okay, a little bit towards done, tiny bit. Yeah, that's it. Mm, no, maybe a bit more to done. Go, go, go. No pressure team. <laughs> you got captured. <laughs> would be complete without somewhere to there sit. There we go. <laughs> okay. I love it. There we go. This is so fancy. Is it is it in the middle? That'll do, won't it? Hey, look at that. How's that for a cinema? The summer situation is looking up. Nothing like getting instructions from a two-year-old, right? <laughs> and he, I genuinely am like following his yeah. orders. Like, yep. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so stoked. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Come, come. Yeah. Yeah. Watch TV. Watch TV. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. You know what we're doing right now, darling? Okay. We're leaving both our sons with Alex and Emma. The travel beans are looking after our children. I'm feeling sorry for them right now. <laughs> are you guys going to be okay? We'll hold the fort. We'll raise your children. <laughs> okay, that's it. Don't let Crusoe do anything I wouldn't do. What a lovely evening. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. No, is asleep upstairs, so I'm not going to make too much noise. Okay, okay I'll stay over here. So let's go make the TV. What do you need? How do you know that's popcorn? Popcorn. How do you know it's popcorn? You've never eaten popcorn. Hey, 
how do you even know you'll like it? I like it. I will eat it. Massive. <laughs> I think I'll eat it. How do you know you're going to like it? Okay, all right. One. No, you don't need to hold that, buddy. <laughs> Go and ask your mum whether you can have more. Mm, no. Okay, team, rain has definitely called off play just for now, but we're English. We know all about rain calling off play. We'll wait, hopefully, this wonderful rainstorm, and we love the rain, will end pretty quickly and we'll be able to get back down to the lawn and enjoy a little bit of cinema. The kids, though, are off to bed. the brief but not insignificant downpour has moved off and we're now left with the beauty of the post rain in this area. I think there's something about being in the mountains that after it rains everything just feels so crisp and clear. I can just hear rain dripping from the trees. I actually just walked down and thought that there was like a new spring or something that we hadn't discovered because the, the water dripping on the dried leaves. I hope you can hear it. It's really, really special. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you once again to all of you for your support. Spending this time with Alex and Emma, we're reminded how lucky we are to have this career on YouTube and to have the support of people like you that tune in to every episode to watch and kind of cheer us on from wherever you are in the world. We are all eternally grateful for that and just count ourselves so lucky to be able to do what we're doing. There are hard days and there are hard times and John and I have been sharing recently how exhausted and how kind of burnt out we've been feeling by it all and kind of how we've been questioning it all and thinking that maybe there's an end date in sight. Well, there is an end date for sure, but it's not in sight just yet. And it's thanks to spending time with people like Alex and Emma that makes us remember what we love about it and it's thanks to all of you who show up every single episode and who leave us the most loving wonderful comments every single week that we come back and we want to do it again because we feel connected to all of you and we feel like we're really creating an inspiring community here and an inspiring space where we can all come together and share ideas and share love and all of the things that are important to making the world go round. so thank you so much and i'm really hoping that once all the children are in bed, we can put the baby monitors on and sneak down here for a bit of cinema adult time. Mr. Newbie. Thank you very much, my darling. Mrs. Newbie. Okay. Right. We're going to do this very quietly. Okay. 
So the rain stopped and the children are in bed. We've all come down to the lawn. I say all, the four of us have come down to the lawn. And we're going to sit down and we're going to watch our first videos that we ever made on YouTube. Who do you think is going to be the most cringeworthy? <laughs> I think we're going to win that one, darling. Oh, I think I've gone past the thing. I should have just gone left. Well, I don't know, darling. This is called Where Are We Going? Funny Drunken Girlfriend. If I'm honest, I'm excited. Oh, it's, it's eight years old and it's had 15,000 views. Brilliant. Cool dude, darling. Well done, <laughs> I honestly have no idea what that's about. Yeah, I love it. I refuse to so take any cool. down any video. Yeah. It's not fair. No, very good. I think. Very, very good. I'd like to know why that hasn't gone viral. I love it. Mm. Mm. No, so Does that mean we get to watch you now? Basically, this is our wedding vows. Yeah. Well, Here's the video. Okay. Action. What do I do? <laughs> no way. <laughs> No way. Yeah, man. That's a cool thing. Oh, brilliant. I promise to always agree to adventure, even if common sense tells us that there is a more sensible path, and even if Amundsen said adventure was for the unprepared. <laughs> I promise to love the family we hope for fiercely, and as your partner, raise our children to be little wonders that know the world with no borders and filled with extraordinary possibilities. It doesn't get much better than that. I promise that home will always be where you are, ever that may be. I promise to be your biggest supporter, your balance, your constant team. There it is, look. I promise that lines will always be more important than numbers and experience more important than wealth. Recess point. After recess point, what are we going to do there? Kayak. Kayak. And then? Well, I was thinking we could get married. Oh, thank you, Anna. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. They're going to be the best powers in the world. <laughs> oh my darling, we just we just got married. I promise that being your husband will always be my first thought, and that I shall always be yours, and yours alone. It's really rare that we look back at where our YouTube journey started, but this collection of videos that we've made over the last three years is something that is incredibly special to us. And sitting in this magical place that we call home with our new friends, the Travel Beans, makes it all feel very Boy, worthwhile. These past weeks where we felt a bit lost and in a state of flux, well, the weight of them starts to lift from the shoulders. And just slowly, we start to feel excited about the future of this project and about moving it forward into the next chapter. Plums too. Can you see the plums? Oh, no, 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 no. Yum, yum, Crusoe. Yum, my turn, Daddy. What about that? Look at these, Crusoe. Look. 
开始开始。It's still raining. Honestly, it's getting a bit boring now, but we must be grateful for it because it's good for the summer. So Absolutely. We are thankful. But all too soon, it's time for the beans to hit the road. Yeah, Emma, Alex and Nora are upstairs right now. They are packing their bags and they'll be heading out fairly shortly. Hi. So make sure you go and check out their channel if you haven't already. Oh. They're the Travel Beans. We've linked it in our description below and they're currently on this big adventure through Portugal to see if they can find somewhere to perhaps call home. Absolutely, yeah. As always, thank you for being here with us. Please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're new here from the Travel Bean side of things, then a very warm welcome. And it's amazing to have you as part of our journey. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Be brave. Think big. Explore. I I gave I gave Alex Oi. and Emma some of our plans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No charge of getting away with all of them. Sounding like our child robbing the gift yeah. to the people who've come to stay. Uh, thank you so much. Those plums are delicious, by the way. Can you say bye to Alex, Emma, and Noah? Can you say ciao, ciao? Ciao, ciao. That's it. Bye, me, Noah. Say bye. You got the heart that is bigger than the sun You got the smile that is wider than the fun Whatever you imagine will come true Whatever you wish upon a star will do And there is only one thing you should really love It is your heart when it sings up above Hey you over there It's time to get up and make the world shine It's time to get back to feeling so fine Find the voice that was lost You get to find the sparkle in the frost